Welcome back, everyone, to Highlighted in All Sports Culture Podcast. Trio is here, Sam, Solly, Kurt. NFL season started yesterday. We had the Hall of Fame game. Did you guys bet on the Hall of Fame game? No. Oh, okay. I put my whole house on it. What was the well, score? 27 to 11, right? Okay, I so think. over a hit. Who won? The Raiders, because the Jaguars didn't start like any of their players. And it was Raiders minus two and a half. Absolute lock Dude. right there. Josh yeah, Jacobs lot. got like five carries in the Hall of Fame game. It's, it's not a good look. It's the same look he gets in NFL games. So it's not a good look. It's not really different. Yeah. I don't want my fucking running back getting five carries in the NFL game in the Hall of Fame. Well, game. is he your quarterback or running back? He could be in fantasy. The, don't draft him. Oh, I would never <laughs> draft him. Well, then you don't have to worry about it. Um, anyway. So NFL started yesterday. We're getting to that football season. There's not going to be a single weekend until February where we don't have football on. So that's always good, regardless if it's regular season, preseason. But the regular season does start in about a month from now. So want to go ahead and do some NFL bets. We did this last year. We re- revealed like some bets that we like. We did some player props. We did Super Bowl odds. We just did a big episode all related to our favorite and best bets of the upcoming NFL season. And we're going to do that again this year. Uh, we were talking about this before the podcast, going to do it in kind of a game like sense. Um, obviously we'll kind of just see how it goes and how it flows, but the plan is one of us will reveal a prop or kind of odds, whatever it is. Um, and then the other two will guess what that odds are. Um, and then after that, we'll discuss this determine if it's an ASC highlighted lock um, which, you know, we throw out so many locks. I mean, Sully firsthand over 600 yards for Jalen Hurts rushing. The freest bet you could have ever made. What, what was his actual total? It was like seven. It was something? like 780 or something. Yeah. So, I mean, if you listen to Sully it was last year. Five, it was over 550. I was like, that is the biggest lock deal. I've yeah. ever seen. Well, and I didn't bet a single dollar on it. Why not? I'm, I'm stupid. Uh, but I thought you aren't you retired from betting technically? I am retired, yes. Yeah, after the <laughs> yeah, you went to rehab after the hard dude uh, struggles I, of freshman year. I'm telling you, man, I'm the most successful quitter at gambling. I'm like I'm, no one I'm, has no one has ever been this successful. I, I want you to know I'm proud of you, and I bet Sam is as well. I'm always proud of people. I think I'm kind of a pussy for it, but you're not yeah, like Kurt, man. who relapsed within two weeks of quitting betting. Put some respect to my name. You stay right? back, Kurt? Oh, I'm back. I just lost 75 <laughs> bucks in PGA bets like two weeks ago. Right, it's a good start. And it's feeling we're doing good. I was thinking about placing money on the Hall of Fame game yesterday, but I stopped myself because who are you I gonna bet? was going to bet the Raiders. The Jaguars had no players. Well, you fucking should have. You would have won. I should have, man. You would have won. Anyway, let's get started. Anyone want to start? Like, how do how do we want to start this? Do we want to do a uh, Super Bowl odds? Do we want to do I mean, a player prop? I could give you a lock right now if you want one. <laughs> sure, let's just hear <laughs> a lock. All right, Daniel Jones. What do you guys think his rushing props is for yards? Two hundred and forty. Nah, it's more. I'm gonna go with. I don't know. It's probably not a three, lot. Three seventy five. Holy shit, you nailed it. Really? It's 374.5. <laughs> wow. I think the over is a pretty good bet. I think the Giants are yeah. going to do a lot. Of- it all, But can you trust Daniel Jones for health-wise? Because if he plays all 16 games, he'll hit it. How many rushing well, yards did Josh Allen get last year? He doesn't year? get hurt that much. He got a concussion last year. Oh, I thought no. I thought he got off injured off. And then he had like an uh, yeah, I don't know. He's he sucks. That's where I don't care about his health. He's not good. <laughs> um, <laughs> but he will, I, like, I think he'll run a lot in that offense. At the so end, it's three seventy five. All right, yeah. I'm gonna do some quick math. Three, he had almost five hundred in year two. He so had three hundred last year. He's got to get twenty three rushing yards per game. That's there's, easy. He's gonna have games where he'll have like eighty. Wait, no, I forgot. There's a seventeen. He's gonna have game. like. So now he's going to have 22. a couple big runs. Yeah. Uh, Josh Allen had 763 rushing yards last year. Okay, but that's Josh exactly. Allen on a team with no rushing ability from the Buffalo Yes, Bills. I know, but I'm just giving context because Brian Dable's the new Yeah, this, they'll do a lot of design runs. No, yeah. be QB, Daniel Jones you know. is a player that can run the ball, so... If I had to do that, everyone go quiet after <laughs> I said that. <laughs> no. It's facts. They're going to do a lot of read options. Just, I like it's it. just mic drop, Sam. You just 
You <laughs> no, I, I thought you guys were like, no, we can't. No, he that's something he's good at. Uh, I mean, on our post for worst player for every situation, we did put Daniel Jones for long run, didn't we? Yeah, which is so stupid. This is ridiculous. I mean, it was the joke the that he fucking slipped, but like, yeah. he's actually one of the better quarterbacks on a long run. Talk your talk, Sully. Don't put hey, up with that bullshit sorry. on the ASC. Sully, defend your, defend your QB. Defend your QB. No, he sucks. But. <laughs> All right. Someone else give me one. I gave you mine. Sam, you want to go or you want me to go? I'll find Um. One. All right, you know what? I'll I'll bring it back. I'll bring it back. Um, Is there touchdown props? Let's go with Rashad Penny. Um, What do you think it's at? For what? Rushing yards? I didn't click on Yes, rushing yards. There's Uh, no fucking. Where's the fucking. Rashad Penny. So Chris Carson just retired, um, sadly, because of his neck, but they took Kenneth Walker. Top of the second All round. Right, it's rushing, you said? Draft. It's rushing. Yes. Okay. Um, Rashad Penny. 675. Infamous injury, that infamous might be a little injury high. prone. All right, I'm going to ask. Hold on. What'd you say? 675. Okay. I'm going to go right. with. It might be lower than that. Because I know DeAndre Swift's 850. Seven, He's actually. Seven, 725. I'm, I might 725. Be seven. Yeah. It is 800. No. Yeah, I wouldn't. You're hitting I'm, the under on that. I bet the I, under. If I had I don't a bet, I don't think I bet it. I don't know. I want to touch it because I you have no it, idea yeah. what Kenneth Walker's going to. Honestly, do. though, I feel like a good strategy might be betting the under on props of players that are very injury prone. If you think about it, yeah. But I feel like the bar is going to be set lower because they know the history. I do think that's very possible. So but, no, it's it's a horrible strategy. Don't follow that. <laughs> we do have to remember Rashad Penny. Last year, he played practically in only like six games. Well, the last and like four games, he was unreal. He had like 150 yards every game. Uh, yeah. He finished the season with 749 rushing yards. Did he really? Yep. Um, oh, and he fuck. practically only Wait, played I'm six games. Over. He played 10 games, but he really only played in like six. I remember he was um, disgusting the last couple of games. He was absolutely filthy in those games. And that was when the Seahawks started to actually get good at the end of the year. <laughs> um now you're. This is really just how much do you think Kenneth Walker is going to eat into his timeshare, um, and if you believe Rashad Penny is going to get hurt again or not. But I think, I mean, what do you guys feel about him as a player? Like, do you think he's a great player? Like, if he wasn't injured all the time, or like he's a fucking, he's one of those running backs that's just kind of there. He's like a David Montgomery to me. David Montgomery, it's just, dude. It's just like not super special, but like he's solid. But he's good. I feel like Seattle has a bunch of those, though. You know, like they've had those over the years. I mean, yeah, it's like like Marshawn. No, Marshawn was special. Since Marshawn, I saw. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, there's like a few. I mean, when 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 did Marshawn Marshawn leave Seattle or like one of that? I think like Tuesday. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I think it was like 2017. Right. Okay. So five years. 2018. He went back there. Like oh, he did. 2019. Because their their running back room got absolutely and he got a, didn't he score a touchdown? He played against Green Bay in the playoffs. I remember that. that year. Remember that. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. <laughs> um cool, man. But yeah, that's I mean, awesome. So we're we're hitting the under on this. Yeah. Will we ever see a fully healthy season from this guy? No. Probably not. Damn. I don't play it, man. He's playing running back. All right. So Next. I'm gonna go with the player that I've that we talked that we brought up during the fantasy mock draft. Obviously, we were all high on him, think he's gonna have a great year. What do we think Allen Robinson's over under is for a season? Over. Smashing. I'm, I'm over. smashing the over no matter what uh, it is. It's <laughs> it's 950. No, the... I would go with like, yeah, I, I think maybe a thousand. Fair. I think nine fifty. So a thousand and nine fifty is your guesses? Yeah. Eight fifty and a half. Oh, smashing <laughs> the over! Right. The fucking yep. bank right now. Yep. Um, um I can't. I gotta. Bad. I gotta go. I'm going to the fucking bank. What is? I what, gotta get off. Speaking of that, I'm gonna look at what Cooper Cups is right now. What do we think Cooper Cups is? is probably probably like twelve hundred. I'd say twelve fifty. I'd say thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred point five. Damn, I was right. You're up by point five, five. So uh, yeah, you actually were so actually no, don't yeah, yourself, blah, blah blah blah. Are um, we hitting that on Cooper I, Cup? Yes. No. Yes. I probably I, would. 
I've seen too much Cooper Cup slander recently. No, Cup's great. I love Cup. Yeah, but you got ASC disrespecting him, saying he's like not even a top three receiver. And I'm like, let's, let's hold on a little bit. All right. Uh, mm. Sully, I've got one if you want me to. Yeah, you go. All right. I've got another interesting one Elijah Mitchell. Rushing yards? Uh, he's, nice. he's like a Rashad Penny to me. The, no, the thing is, but he had a great season last year. Uh, he came in, he seemingly became San Francisco's number one running back unbelievably because you never would expect that in San Francisco ever Sunbelt represent. Um, but now they got Trey Lance playing quarterback <laughs> now officially. Yeah. Uh, we did see Mitchell actually play, which by the way, I'm shocked. Of- I thought it was going to be Jimmy G. I'm oh, shocked. I don't know why you ever <laughs> thought that uh, it should be Jimmy, but whatever. Mitchell did get a lot of snaps when Trey Lance played those two games this year. What do you guys think his rushing yards are? 705. Same as Penny. 800. 900. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm under. hitting that under <laughs> so under. hard. And then he used like 14 running backs. Yeah. Who yeah. Didn't, they, didn't they draft a running back this year too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Davis. Price. Tyrion Davis or Tyrion Lannister. Apparently, Trey Sermon's <laughs> actually been looking good at camp too. They drafted him in like, didn't they draft him pretty early last year? Third he round. went to Ohio yeah. State. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about that. What the fuck is this team doing, dude? But Trey Sermon like was never activated for them last year. Yeah, yeah I, I think he got a concussion Lance. in like his first game. And then... That's tough, man. They got Trey Lance back, and they paid Debo. And Debo's contract. And Ayuk's going off to give And Ayuk's literally the wide receiver no. one on that team. So. Oh, absolutely. No, like Ayuk is definitely Ayuk going, is going to be very good this year. I, I, I completely agree. I'm telling you, the post hypes, like post hype sleepers in fantasy, they, they always nail. I mean, they don't, they don't even have Brandon Ayuk. Name one, Sully. I can name one right now. I'll name one right now. You want me to name one? Watch sure. this. Watch this. I'm going to blow your fucking mind. Cooper Cup had the best wide receiver season. He was horrible two years ago. Yeah. 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 That's actually he was I'm trash. Bad. I wouldn't and say he was trash, but he was very inconsistent. Yeah. Year prior, he was insanely good. Yeah. That's why everyone was like, this guy's fucking nasty. Yeah. And I can name another. But also his quarterback thousand, switched. Actually. Oh, oh yeah. my God. We oh, could yeah. say the same for, for, for Brandon Ayuk. Ayuk. Yeah. I'm right. trying to find this Brandon Ayuk right. prop. Oh, it's probably. Well, what, it's are, we going, are we going for rushing yards? Or? Ayuk's probably 1,600. It's not. It's not, it's not a and I've smashed the over. Prop, so I'm trying oh, to go on the bottom. Not. I see it. It's 1,600. I'm smashing the over. <laughs> Good. All right. I'll give you one. All right. Wait. All right. Uh, all right, all right, all right. I got it. I got it. I got it. What do we think? Right. This is on Bovada now. What do we think it is for Brandon Ayuk? Ayuk? Yeah. 850. Mm, yeah. 900. 750. Oh, come yeah. on. Ooh. We got to smash the over. Honestly, I... though, honestly, though, I think I I think you get like 900, but I think that is like, that's not I think horrible. that's a fair. I think that's a fair. And then I would just say, what do we think Debo's is? Because we're on the topic. For receiving? Yeah. A thousand. Thousand fifty. Nine twenty-five. Hit me over. I, I don't think they I don't think they're projecting Lance to throw for like a lot of yards. Yeah. That's which true. is fair. Yeah, but he could also just dump it off the Debo in the flat or oh, yeah. and he can just get a million yards. Get How many million? Receiving well, yards did, wait. Did he He's gonna get a million yards. We gotta have many over. I All mean, right. have you seen Debo play football? I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. He had fourteen hundred receiving yards. Debo injury prone. I might smash the under. I mean, he had fourteen hundred receiving yards last year. You're telling me he's not hitting over nine hundred? Yeah, I, I think he's hitting over nine. That's kind of crazy that they put it at nine hundred, especially with the better fourteen hundred QB. I I guess they just aren't high on him after he's. I feel like they. I feel like the props are always so low, dude. Yeah. And then, like, yeah. an injury hits, and you're like, fuck. Yeah, I think like, that. I think that's what it is. Yeah. I think they really do think everyone's going to miss, like, four games, which is fair. Honestly. And uh, and obviously, everyone and goes. And then season ending ones. Everyone goes the, over, regardless, over the oh, yeah. in most instances, too. Yeah. So, you throw that into effect, too. Yeah. All right, I got one. Let's hear it. A.J. Dillon rushing touchdowns. Isn't, isn't that six and a half? You brought it up last week, didn't yeah, it's you? Yeah, six and a half, right? It's like six, yeah. It's like five six. and a half. That is I'm, the I'm easiest still, yeah, over yeah. I've yeah. ever heard in my life. I think that's a fucking lock. AJ Dillon's going off. I think he might get 12. 
I, I might, agree. I might. I agree. I'm going to email FanDuel right now and say, "Can I bet over 12?" <laughs> AJ Dillon. You, you, you probably. Odds. I don't even fucking you probably, want better odds. You probably could do a requested wager. I think on FanDuel. Is that a thing? Yeah, I think so. I'll. I mean, I'll. I'll check. But... I literally think he's going to get like maybe 14. And you'd get like plus 600 odds for it. So put your house on it. I think. I think we got it. Yeah. All um, right. Uh. Yeah. I mean. Easiest bet ever. I mean, we can all agree on that. Let's uh, let's switch over to win totals really quick. I got an interesting one. Uh, yeah, nice. Giants. Smash five and a half. It's five and a half. It's five and a half. It's seven and a half. Yeah, that's so under. I'm going so under. That's, that's kind of low. I think I think over. I'm going, <laughs> oh, really? I'm going so under. Commanders is eight and a half. Uh, the commander's trash. I'm going the under on that I'm one. Going the over. <laughs> Easiest schedule in the NFL. NFC East sucks. Carson Easiest Wentz. schedule in the NFL. They don't fucking play themselves. They suck. I mean, we're, we're, we're feasting this year. What I think, what are the odds for the Super Bowl? Let's think of like the best like value play for this. Uh, who do we think has the best? I, I would guess like it's the easily Bills. the Bills. Easily the Bills. Uh, the Bills. Yeah. I think the. I think the Chargers are good odds. All right, here Chargers we go. Are pretty good. I think the Rams are solid. All right, so it's Bills plus 650, Buccaneers plus 750, which I think that's too high for Buccaneers. Chiefs plus 950, Rams plus 1100, Packers plus 1200, Chargers plus 1600, Niners plus 1600, Broncos plus 1700, Cowboys plus 1800. Do you guys want to keep going or No. Okay. Bengals plus 2100 is kind of wild. Yeah. Um, the Cowboys beat up the Bengals is insane. Uh, I'm just saying, I, I obviously know it's probably going to be longer than six games, but D- Deshaun, if he comes back, plus 2400, the Browns, yeah. it's not too bad. Not too sound, bad. I mean, it sounded like it's going to be the whole season. So That's what I'm saying. I, would, I wouldn't bet that. <laughs> I would touch that bet with. But, but if it's six games, it's a good bet. It just sounds like the Browns are setting themselves up for a nightmare season, no matter what happens with his suspension. Um, I mean, because if he oh, gets suspended the whole year, they're going to be bad. Yeah, but if he gets suspended six games, you're in, you're you have fine. the media nights, fucking worst media. Hey, store look, if you're holding up a ever. Super Bowl ring at the end of the year, it doesn't fucking matter what the media spoiler alert. Says. They won't be so. Yeah. Nothing I think matters. I think Nothing matters. Could. Nothing does matter. It's only going full everything everywhere. I mean, you gotta. You gotta I haven't seen that movie yet. Oh, you gotta there. see it. I want to see it so bad. But, uh, Chargers plus sixteen hundred. That's that's my bet there. I think. I it. look there are, every single year. I feel like people fall into like a team. I can't really. Who was it last year? That like the Bills. I feel like the it Bills is a good Bills. example. Who like yeah. had a really solid year. Couldn't really do it in the postseason, but like has a really star studded quarterback. And like the next year, they're like, they're going to win it all. I feel like it's the Chargers this year. Don't think it's going to be the Chargers. But even the Raiders, though Chargers, Raiders, Raiders are plus 4,000. Even though so Justin Herbert's the man. Yeah, no, I Raiders are so fucking underrated. Raiders, are Raiders so underrated. plus 4,000. I don't know. That's, that. that's my value pick. The Raiders are such a weird situation because like I could see them being like a great team that's like, the five seed wild card, or they could just not make the playoffs because they're the four seed in the toughest division in football. Um, I mean, the Broncos at plus 1700 is a joke. Uh, I don't know why they're the eighth best odds for Super Bowl bets. I, I don't get that. Broncos are lower. fucking trash. No, the Broncos are I think they're going to be worse than their division, probably. I agree. They're going to go last. Completely agree. All right. What do we think? Gonna, another, I think this is I, all right. Not a lot, good value. What do we think the Steelers' odds to make the playoffs are? Mm. Uh, plus, I think they're probably low. Plus one thirty-five. Because if the Browns have better Super Bowl odds than them, I'm guessing that Vegas is feeling the Browns. What would you say, Sully? I said plus 135. I feel like they never do good value for these bets to make playoffs and shit. I'll go plus 200. Plus 330. 
Wow. Yeah. I, I figured because the Steelers haven't missed the playoffs in fucking forever. Yeah. Right? No, that's what I'm saying. And like, I feel like even last year we said the Steelers, like, they have every reason not to make the playoffs because you obviously look at the AFC North, but they're I feel like at the same time they're going to find a way to make it again. Maybe. Maybe not. Especially I when mean, you got ten, Kenny Two Gloves Pickett on your team. That's an automatic playoff berth. Doesn't this team scream nine and eight but miss the playoffs? Is that just me? Nine and eight in a seven seed, and you get fucked by the two seed. Have you seen the AFC though? Like, I don't even think they can. Look, man, didn't we say the same exact thing last year? Yeah, we said that they were going to be the worst team in the division. It is fair that Ben Roethlisberger. We did not say that so much. No, I don't think we said that. Yes, we did. Okay, no, I definitely said the Bengals. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We said third. We said third. Everyone said third. And a lot of yeah. people thought they weren't going to make the playoffs. Though. Okay. And everyone said the Bengals are going to be the worst team. Maybe in football. And they fucking made it to the Super Bowl. I, yeah. <laughs> so uh, what the fuck do we know? What are we even talking about? <laughs> yeah. I, and we've had the discussion on this podcast so many times where it's like, it's kind of pointless what we say. Cause it's like, we can only project so much. <laughs> it's pointless what we say. That's <laughs> it. Serious. It ends there. No, seriously. No, I agree. I agree. That's like, fun. There's going it. to be a team like the fucking... Jaguars, obviously not the Jaguars that are just going to be really solid and no one's going to expect. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got to find Travis Etienne receiving props. <laughs> I'm going to guess it's... It's not on here. Fuck. You can look it up. Yeah. I can... Do you want me what to do look you, it up? What do we feel like... Yeah. All right. Ow. What do you feel like? All right, all right, all right, all right. Receiving yards. Julio Jones. Like four, and he's going to hit the under? <laughs> four. <laughs> What was uh, that? Uh, 650. It's 575. Uh, he's, he's just, he's got to get hurt, right? There's just no way he doesn't get hurt. He's got Tom Brady, though. And Chris Godwin blew out his knee. Chris I mean, Godwin's already back at practice, though, so he might be. Tom Brady's trainer him. literally runs around the practice field with steroids. All right, pins so wait, I can't, I can't get you just receiving yards, but I can get you rushing and receiving yards. All right, what is it? Twelve hundred, one thousand fifty. I'm smashing the over. Yeah, Good, I would too. Yeah, I think he's gonna get like seven hundred receiving yards. Damn. That's actually, a- I actually don't even think he's gonna get one. He might get six hundred rushing yards though. So honestly, it's, that might be kind of close. No, but that's no, that, that would be good. Yeah. No, I know, but it would it, it might be kind of close. I mean, Doug Peterson loves his running backs. I don't think that's a bad take. And yeah, they're gonna be losing. Uh, I actually, I'm a big ETN fan this year. He weighs like 100 pounds, though, doesn't he? I don't know. <laughs> he is a little undersized. All right, let's uh, keep looking at some. Um, all right, let's do season awards if you guys are good with this. All right. All right. MVP, who do you think leads it? Josh Allen. Allen. Josh Allen does at plus 700. What do we think next is? Brady? Mm. Brady or Mahomes? Or Rodgers? I'll I'll go with Brady. It's Mahomes and Brady at plus 800. Then it's Herbert at 900. Rodgers at 1,000. And then you got Dak Prescott in sixth place at plus 1,200. (laughs) Wait, where's my homes? So he's at plus, plus 800. Uh, yeah, he was second. Yeah. What is okay? Stafford. At? I have a theory. I think Lamar Jackson might win it again. Because I like that. I feel like Ravens going to be so good this year, too, with the Cowboys. Because we've seen like Cowboys high, like high, one of the higher favorites to win the Super Bowl, make playoffs, win the division. Dak here. Maybe they're having the odds really like not good because they know that stupid Dallas fans are going to bet them anyway. Yeah, could be. I'm on to something I, here. I, I just want to say, I mean, this team literally just got worse this offseason. Yeah, when so I don't know. when are the Cowboys not towards the top of the list at the beginning of every season? Like people, people joke about, they're like, oh, Cowboys fans say it's our year. Like it's not even just Cowboys fans. It's fucking it's everyone who yeah. says yeah. it. So, everyone I mean, no, but says that, the yeah. Cowboys and that, are going to be incredible. That relates every to what I said. It's like they probably think everyone's going to bet on them regardless. So it's like. I wonder what the Eagles' odds are to win the division. Probably lower than the Cowboys, but I wouldn't say much lower. I'm going to say it's like plus 200. I go plus 175. Plus 185. 
Where are the Cowboys? 130? No, they got to be like 125. Minus. Plus 125. Dude, I was like perfect on both of those. I was going to say minus 105. Chargers plus 240. That's a pretty good bet. A lot of people don't think Kansas City is going to win the division this year, which means they're going to win the division this year. I mean, probably. Uh, but <laughs> what, what, What's Kansas City's odds? Plus 155. That's, that is that's, a, that's a really interesting good odd. I don't think that's good. Though, the Chargers? Honestly, like. The Chargers are plus 240. Yeah. Oh, that's – yeah. Where are the Broncos? I know. Plus 260. The Raiders are plus 700. That's great odds. That I actually think – I think that's really good odds. I think, the, I think Derek Carr to win MVP is a solid bet. Derek is playing with – he's playing with the best team he's ever had. Best yeah. offense. Devontae, Darren Waller. It's plus 2,500. Dude, Renfro's a fucking stud. Renfro's fire. Imagine yeah, having is. Renfro and Devontae Adams. Someone's going to be open. Renfro, Darren, Darren Ren- Waller? Yeah, well, that guy's yeah. fucking, yeah. He's Dude, good, Ren- but Renfro's he's so inconsistent. solid for like a five reception, 75 yards, and a touchdown yeah, every game. So game. standard. And then you got Devontae. I mean, if he got that every like, single game, he'd, be, he'd have the best season ever. But not ever. You, you know what I mean. Yeah, have a great season. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking um, 17 touchdowns. <laughs> no, I did, I did say a touchdown every other game. No, oh, okay. But still, yeah. you know, it still would be a really good year. No, he is. Yeah. All right. Nice. All right. What are we feeling? <laughs> That's it. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> what are we feeling uh, about uh, offensive uh, player of the year odds? Uh, Zeke. It's Jonathan Taylor, number one. <laughs> He's is a it? plus right? a thousand. Christian Jonathan McCaffrey. Taylor? Who's second? Wait, so it's JT one? Yes. Okay. Plus Christian, a thousand. Christian McCaffrey's my Vontae's two. It's Cooper Cup. Javante Williams is number two. Are you smoking Dumb crack? Javante. <laughs> number uh, two is Cooper Cup at plus 1,400. Who's what's, three? What's CMC? You love CMC this year, don't you, man? CMC oh, yeah. is at 11. <laughs> Actually, he's he's tied for like... Plus 2,400? He's at plus 2,500. That is good odds. You put two bucks on it, you win fifty bucks. Because offensive player of the year, like it does, your team could be, your team could win four games. Yeah, I feel like Jamar really Chase is at much. plus three thousand. I think that is a fantastic bet right there. That's pretty good. I, I got to look at the mo- recent offense player of the year. Who was it last year? It was Cooper, Cooper Cup. Cup. Yeah, Cooper Cup's a stud, man. He's, He's a great guy. Good. He's that I guy. mean, I feel like a lot of people are going to be hammering Justin Jefferson though. I agree. I agree. And I can't really... Jake Jettis will that. be fire, though. You got to love him. He will be. Let's not get it twisted. He will Dude, be. I kind of think the Vikings can be real fire this year. Like, no offense to you, Sam. I think they could I, be... Good the no, I think, I think they'll... I don't I know about that one. Uh, but uh, I think they, they'll be a playoff team. I Dude, think they will they be. They got our boy KO, KOC. He's he's the man at the helm. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I think they're going to be a playoff team. I'm not confident in them being... The division winner, but I'm confident in them being a playoff team. I think the NFC is literally five teams, and then anyone else. I, I mean, are the five teams? I'm going to guess. All right. Tampa Bay. Yeah. Rams. Yeah. Uh, Eagles. Yeah. Um, what uh, what other division am I missing? South. North. No, I just yeah. did North. Oh, wait, who's in the NFC North? <laughs> no, it's I just said oh and then Packers. Yeah. And then who's your fifth? Uh uh Vikings. Mm-mm. You just said they're gonna make the playoffs. I said I think there are five staples to make the playoffs. All right, who's the other team? The Niners. Uh, I think the Niners could fall off a little bit. No cap. I think is their division's <laughs> easy. No cap. <laughs> Trey no, Lance man, he's, he's unpredictable. You never know. But no, like I, I think if they had Jimmy G be a lot, but they don't. I think those last two spots True. are going to go to the Vikings, the Cowboys, or the Saints. Shut the it's fuck one of those up two. about the Cowboys. They're ass. Accept it. They're not making I, the playoffs. I think they're going to be kind of overrated all year. Uh, but like it's just like usual. But I'll bet you. You gotta watch ten movies I pick for you that the that the I probably already will, seen them. So that the Commanders will finish <laughs> above the Cowboys. Oh, deal. I think the Cowboys will be better than Commanders. Shake on it. Shake yeah. on it. That's a bad bet, but we gotta we gotta we gotta spice up that bet a little bit. Oh, yeah, You're so finally what? following through on our last bet. Good on you. It's fire. It's so fucking fire, dude. You're oh you're God. welcome. You're Literally welcome. get hard every time I hear that 
intro music. It's so good. Unbelievable. It's amazing. It's amazing. Sully? Hey! <laughs> My name's Sully. Nice to meet you guys. Um, what you, what you I'm got your for host props? for today. Travis Kelsey. What are Receiving we doing? yards. Yards? How many do you think? 1,200. 11. I was going to say 1,175. 1,100. Over. Oh, my God. Yeah, over. 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 I like the over, too. What's Juju's? Could you look that up? Is that on there? Juju's? Whatever it is, bet the over. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I was, agree. It's probably... Like, I think uh, it's probably like 660. Nah, it's, no, if it's 660, I'll fucking kill everyone I know to take all of their money and put it on that. <laughs> Right, Juju on. Smith Schuster receiving yards. Oh. You know what? I got. I mean, this isn't the real line, is it? Eleven 1, hundred? No, it can't be. It can't be. All right, everyone. Uh, it's it's a you question. All right, hold on. I'm gonna figure this out in like two seconds. Sam, what's your next one? All right, I got an interesting one. I got two players here, so I've got total passing yards. All right. What do we think Josh Allen's are? His total passing yards? Like yeah. four, 40, 4, 46. It's 43. Okay. What do we think Justin Herbert's are? 44. 44. 46. So they have Justin Herbert above Josh Allen for passing Good. yards. As they showed, he's a better quarterback. So I don't know about that one. Uh, but what we what we saying Dude, where between the fuck these is two? Who, who ends with more passing yards this year? Between these two, Herbert. Ooh. Herbert. Herbert. Herbert's winning MVP. He's going to be the best QB. Dick uh, riding to a whole new level. Honestly, I I would if you put a gun to my head, I'd say Herbert has more receiving. He's going to more receiving yards. Also, oh facts. He'll have more passing yards than Josh Allen. But I think I'd bet the over on that Josh Allen prop, and I might bet the under on that Herbert prop. What? Come on, yeah, forty six hundred. <laughs> I mean, they're 300 yards away. You can still have more, and I can hit both bets. I'm going to be I'm, – I'm precise with my bets. I'm, yep. <laughs> Down I'm to the corrected. last yard. I'm yeah. going to be correct in all facets. <laughs> but 4,600 yards is a lot. Is Justin Herbert the leading it one? Is it passing game? I believe so. I'm trying to think who else would be in that category. What's Tom Brady's? I'm going to guess 4,500. Tom, Brady, Tom Brady's only 45 years old, dude. He can't throw the ball more than 10 uh, yards. I doubt Mah- <laughs> Mahomes is behind by 50. He's at 45, 50. So it's Jay Herb? Yes, Jay Herb, I believe. I don't know who else. More like Go. Home. Matt Stafford is second. Is he? He's plus 800 to lead the league in passing yards. He's yeah. tied with Tom Brady and Mahomes. At, yeah, he's tied with Tom Brady, 45, 50. Derek Carr. I like Derek Carr. Lamar is at 3,500. I think that's Lamar a good is bet not the over. Oh, I thought you meant 3,500 to lead the lead in passing. No, I'm like. talking about his total. Yeah, he'll be around that. Maybe like 3,800. That's not what a bad bet. What do we think Jalen Hurts is at? 30, mm, too low. 3,200. 30, yeah, 36. 3,450. I bet, I bet Lamar. My- Ah, there's no wide receivers on that team, dude. Who's catching the ball? But he's a better thrower than oh, Jalen Hurts. Like better, yeah. Yeah, Way better. Sure. But Jalen Hurts has wide receivers that are good. Which is a shock to say after yeah. the Eagles yeah. had literal garbage at receiver the past few years. Wait, who did they take in the draft? What receiver did they take? They didn't take one. They, just, they traded for A.J. Brown. Is that it? Who else is on that team besides AJ Brown? Devonta Smith. Devonta Smith. Oh yeah, Devonta. Dallas Goddard. You're saying Dallas Goddard like it's a good thing. That man he's is a right. player. He's not. Right. I mean, he, Quez he's... Watkins, the goat. Shut the fuck up. If you're Jordan saying Matthews. Quez Watkins, Kurt. I know Jahan Dotson's the goat, but like J Dot man. What, what's, J-Dot. Ja- what's Jahan Dotson's over under passing? passing Whatever time. it is, slam it's it. Under. Receiving yards. It should be like 1,200, but it's probably going to be four. Devin Singletary, 725 yards. Slam the under. Yeah. I, what's, yeah. Um, what's, uh, what, what's his name? The, the, the Georgia running back. What's his name? James Cook. Yeah, what's his? What's his? Swam the over. I would guess around the a little Fucking bit lower than that. James, I would like guess like six. Dude. I would guess Fucking... like six hundred. Yeah, swam the over. He's going off this year. What is Zach Moss's four? And you bet the under. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go with five five twenty five. Like a healthy scratch for the end of the season for some games. Like Zach Moss is actually all right. I'm gonna go with my. We all should do our like the three worst players in the NFL, and I think Zach Moss <laughs> is on that list. Zach other, Moss. Who the fuck is Zach Moss? He's the running back for the Buffalo Bills. Exactly. You don't even know who he is. Oh, right? I know Zach Moss. Yeah, I remember Zach <laughs> Moss. because I was Singletary, I was... Yes. Who did, who did no, we who ask? Uh, yes, I remember. Who's someone we absolutely peppered last year on the pod? I remember there's one player we said was absolute shit on the pod, like, every week for taking Tua. away <laughs> Tua is a great candidate. Tua, he would be so, up there. Yeah. Kyler is probably an honorable oh. mention. I don't know if he'd make it three. I'm a Kyler fan. Uh, He's so bad, dude. He's so bad. He's I, so I've bad. got, I've got a, I've got a bet that I want you guys to place right now. I, I place your money. All right, no, I trust you. I'm, I will, I'll share the screen. Hold on. What are you trying to do? He's in a bet before you even tell him what it is. Oh no, th- it's not no, a no, real bet. Sorry. It's not oh, a real bet. God. It's a, it's a, it's an, it's a highlighted bet. All right, go to horses. I, I was so. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Ooh. Do you guys want to bet on a horse Ooh. right now? I'm down. <laughs> All right, hold on. Wait, wait, who's what's the bet? Who oh. wins highlighted Zingless quarterback of 2020? Oh, that's the bet of the year. It's Tua. Um, Tua is literally so minus 6,000. 2020, it was Philip Rivers. 2021, it was Ben Roethlisberger. 2022. Right. You're Julie telling me Benton. Tua hasn't won it yet? So, no, wasn't I'm, it? Wasn't it Ben? Tua, was like, it 2021 Ben? I'm Tua, pretty sure it was Ben. Dude, yeah, that makes sense. Tua, like Tua is like Tua is wins it every. year. He's like LeBron. I don't know, guys. He should win it every year, but we give the award <laughs> to someone else. Did you guys see that 65 yard TD throw that everyone's talking oh. about? I don't give a fuck. I wish I gave. Uh, yeah, who, who else? Who else is a contender for that award? Like, um, let's check. Is there, is there any competition for this? I'm not gonna Matt lie. Ryan. This might be his year. No, I Ryan's think Davis Mills stuff. might be in contention, even though no, a lot of people dude. like him. I'm not a Jared fan Goff. of the people with Davis. Jared Goff I think two is gonna sleep run on. away with. Yeah, he sleep. honestly should. Maybe Marcus Mariota. No, I think Mariota's gonna be solid. Baker nah, Mayfield. I actually am gonna bet Mariota. Don't you ever say that words out of your mouth ever. I don't know. Right? Do you ever think Baker wait, Mayfield? Wait, wait, wait. Has what is Mariota's prop? Because I'm betting it right now. He's not that good, dude. For he's passing not... yards. Yeah. I don't even know if he's on fucking. Yeah, he's not on FanDuel. Kurt, look it up. Yes, sir. Marcus wait, Mariota. I thought we were betting on touchdowns. I thought we were so betting we're... on horses, though. Are we all betting on Tua for this award? Are you betting on it? Because I'm swimming my fucking college funds on that. Marcus, you're gonna say your cock. I, my cock too. It's on the dark web. Anyone can get it if they want. <laughs> uh, how do you spell Marcus Mariota? They gotta go to the dark web to get it. I just go to Snapchat. <laughs> Damn, you're in the exclu- private story. You're in the exclusive <laughs> club. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Well, speaking not about my cock, I cannot find the Marcus Mariota prop. Uh, you can't find your cock. Though. <laughs> I can't find my cock if I look right down. So. What about uh Kenny Pickett? Is he on this? I'll bet the over. Contestion? Don't no. call him Kenny Pickett. Call him Teddy Two Gloves. That's the name. Teddy Two Gloves. Yeah, you know, like Teddy Two Gloves. It's Kenny Two Gloves. You said Teddy. Like no, no. All right, yeah. yeah Kenny. You know what I meant? Kenny Two Gloves. He's yeah, the man. Yeah, yeah. Except. Yeah. If fucking hey, if Mitch wins the starting, oh my God. <laughs> if, if Mitch wins the starting quarterback job, I'm gonna be a little happy. He's the He's man. He's going to win it, dude. No, can, dude, how Kenny long has he had it though? It. Oh, wait, all right, all right, all right. Over under how many games does Mitchell Trubisky start for the Steelers this year? 17. Eleven. 17. You're 17. setting it at 17. <laughs> 17 is the over under. Oh, yeah, the over under is 17. And we're so, taking the over. So you're, you're, taking, the you're taking the over. That means that they're if making you, the playoffs and you, you start to. If you game. take the over, yeah. Yep. That's what it is. Uh, I'm going to set it at 8. 11. Three. Mitch is and then bad. the moment Kenny Two Gloves comes into the game is Dang. maybe going to be the best moment of the NFL season. <laughs> it's over once that happens. I'm just saying, man. All right, I'm giving you one more lock. You ready? Yo, I think we all need to give one more bet. Yeah, yeah I'm going like to a lock, lock of a bet? Like a Loch Ness a... Monster. Okay. A Loch Ness Monster. 
it's unreal. Dude, it's so funny. See, <laughs> the bucket with Trent clips on TikTok is so funny. It's like, <laughs> it's like wife texting him and it's like, why are the lights off? And he's like, I can't pay the light bill. And she's like, what are we going to do about it? He's like, well, Adam Bell's back. <laughs> and he, like, and he like slams the bet. It's so funny. It's so funny. Hey, that, Sam, my, yeah, my favorite, my favorite bookie with Trent moment was when last year, I'm not even kidding. I was running through brick walls. It was when you guys played Arizona on Thursday night yeah. and they were favored by six and a half. And he was like, and it was like, he had a great song in the background too. And it was like, uh, everyone going with the Cardinals. And he was like, you must forget who's on the other team. And it was like the go. And I was like, I'm literally out of my seat. <laughs> Plus six and a half. I even the Packers little, win. Oh, they won yeah. money line. I put a little sprinkle on the money line too. You know, they had sprinkle. Malik Taylor, Jawan Renfree as their wide receiver one and two that game. I remember and that. And they won the game because Kyler Murray so. threw uh, interception to Rasul Douglas on the last play of the game. How's my boy? Oh, I remember that. Great how's my- game. How's my Thursday. boy? Uh, that was a good game. Shamar Jean Charles doing from App State? Actually, and how's, he, having, how's he doing? He's been having a solid camp. How's, how's Christian he, Watson doing on the pop? He's, doing uh, good. he's rehabbing. You should be talking about Romeo Dobbs, bro. I heard he's going crazy. Sully, what about fucking Amari Rogers, your boy? He fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> What's Amari Rogers' prop bet? Let's find uh, out. Fucking 25 yards. So like, can you tell us how I, I don't even think he had 25. Yards, it, it just says like snaps. It says over or under 33 snaps. Wait, I don't even know. Like, all right, I'm giving you my lock. You ready? Amari yeah, Rogers right. under 25 yards. Wait, let me take a look at this. Wait, wait, wait. I don't even think he has a pro football reference page. All right, wait. He did not have 166 receiving yards last year. He's There's man. no way. He's a man. Wait, he's fucking nasty. Oh, I know. Those are his returning yards. It fucking sucks. Only 166 return yards. That should tell you everything about how bad he was on our special teams last year. He never caught a pass last year? Are you serious? That's really bad. That's embarrassing. Sully, I mean, hitting the under on the 25. Good man. (laughs) Told you. All right, you ready? This was the dude you backed in the 2021 draft, by the way. You took him in, like, the first round in our month. Yeah. Well, he just went to the wrong team. He is not good with Rodgers. Not a good fit. We got yeah, right. to we we start the 2023 uh, draft profiles because, you know, we'll be there. We got to know everything for this upcoming draft. Already, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so All right, here's my here. lock. Lock this monster, you mean? This isn't my, no, this isn't my lock, this monster. This is, like, baby lock. All right. <laughs> this is, like, my baby Drew lock. Uh, Javante Williams over 940, 940, 800, 925. I'm betting the over. I'm going the over. Yeah, I probably, yeah, I probably go the over. Yeah. He's the man. Is Melvin Gordon there again? Yeah. Fuck Melvin. I think he's having like a one year deal. There's no he's... way Melvin Gordon takes any snaps except Not for like, I mean, he took all the touchdowns. last year. He's going to score the touchdowns. He's so bad. And Javante is going to get all the yards. Send him back to – dude, Melvin Gordon when he was on the Chargers, unreal fantasy player. Well, he fucking was trash, and then he was sick. Bro got offered a four-year, like, $50 million contract. Just like said, when Eric nah. Gordon was on the Pelicans, that man was a fantasy basketball – Aaron star. Gordon? Eric Gordon. Oh, I was going to say Aaron Gordon was not on the Pelicans. Um – Fucking learn about the NBA and then come talk to me. I don't watch it, so I, don't, I could not get close. Oh, my God. I think I might have the easiest bet of the year. Oh, I got a lock. Oh got a lock? So, Baker Mayfield oh over my God. under <laughs> touchdowns. Over <laughs> under touchdowns. 22. 24. 21 and a half. <laughs> He's Slamming kidding. the under. He's fucking bad. He's bad. <laughs> He's getting two touchdowns a game <laughs> at the very least. I That's disagree with that. 30, entirely. It, should, it should be like 34 and a half should be the over under, but it's, I it's about over. I think Aaron Rodgers has like 30, and that's that's what his over-under is. You're telling me this is at 34 and a half. If you put a gun to my head and said, Baker Mayfield and Rodgers, who's getting more touchdowns? I'm leaning Baker. (laughs) All right. Um, I think I might have the easiest bet of the year. Uh, Justin Jefferson receiving touchdowns. 11 and a half. 
eight and a half. It is eight and a half. Gosh. Yeah, it's over. That's the easiest over I've ever seen in my life. Dude's going to have like 17 touchdowns. I'm so confident in that. Jay Jettis? He's going to have 17? He's going to have a lot. If it goes to the under, Sam, you have to do a gritty in front of everyone on the podcast. What, eight and a half? Under eight and a half? Yeah. I will do a gritty on the podcast. Under 17. No, I'm not doing that. All right, cool. Uh, If he is less than 13, Uh, I I will do a gritty. This is my lock, this monster. Locking it in. Everyone, lock it in. Lock it in. Lock, lock, it, it, in. lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. Mike Evans. Receiving yards. Receiving, receiving yards. yards. 1,150. 1,170. 1,025. Oh, my God. Lock, lock, lock it lock in. Lock, lock it in. Lock it in. All right, so our lock this monsters are the Mike Evans, Justin Jefferson. What else did we say? Baker Mayfield. <laughs> Stop Definitely not Baker Mayfield. Um, what Justin, I- Mike Evans is at a thousand twenty-five. Yeah, he's never had a season below a thousand. Yeah, and Chris Godwin's not even playing. Yeah, was that his prop set before Tom when Tom Brady was? With Ooh, Tom? maybe. Did we already say AJ Brown's yeah. over under? Yeah, uh, it was a thousand. Yeah, did we all say over? I think so. Shit, spicy. They hate Jalen Hurts. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's not really about the player. It's about the quarterback. And they don't think Josh, they think Jalen Hurts is going to throw for 3,300 yards. I need to ask you guys this. Do we really need to put an amazing amount of stock in the quarterback when it comes to like these top tier receivers with like, I mean, just get them the ball, especially AJ Brown. I mean, he's yards after the catch monster. Like if you've got Kirk Cousins, I'm betting everything. Like that's good enough I'm, for me to I'm bet conf- everything on Justin no, no, no. Jefferson. Oh, I'm very confident Kirk Cousins in like, terms of not winning a Super Bowl, but in terms of like yeah for fantasy or yeah. like producing for a really wide receiver. Like, I'm very confident. Devontae Adams, twelve hundred receiving yards. He's got Derek Carr. Derek Carr is like twelfth best quarterback in the league. Yeah, I'm hitting the over on. That. All right, I actually have no idea how. I have no idea when I say this, but so if a quarterback were to throw for how often would a wide receiver have a third or like a little under a th- – yeah, basically a third of the passing yards that a quarterback has? Does that well, happen? I feel like that never happens. I don't think it really does. I feel like they have less. Fourth. It's more like a fourth, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what did Devontae and Aaron have last year? Let's figure this out. Because Devontae and Aaron is like a weird case. Aaron had 4,100. I think Devontae had like – 15. Yeah, he had 1,500. So Devontae had more than a third. Yeah. Hmm. What was Renfro and Carr last year? Renfro didn't really have a ton. He was just consistent. I feel like Carr, he, won, he had like a thousand. Carr had 4,800 res- passing. Carr is going to win MVP. Oh my God. I didn't even my, know he had that many. Carr is my, Carr is my MVP value bet. I I'm locking that Derek. in. That's my Lochness monster, actually. His car MVP. Renfro at 1,000. Jeez. Yeah, Renfro's pretty low. Waller was hurt a lot last year. Who was he throwing it to? Zay Jones? Oh, my God. Zay Jones caught the winning touchdown against Buffalo week one. Baltimore. Same thing. Doesn't fucking matter. I remember that. I remember Derek Carr's interview was electric. Oh, that it was game. amazing. Amazing oh, interview. I had a tweet about it, too. <laughs> <laughs> it was like seven minutes. Oh. I, I I think one of my least favorite things is in like post game interviews, like one or two other responses. Well, let's let's hear about the experience. Let's take a deep dive into the moment and reflect on it. What? <laughs> That's the worst. Those... Are are you saying like you hate when reporters ask questions like that? Or... No, when it's like uh, Matt Sullivan, you know, how was the game last night? And you're like, it was good. Nah, tell me why it was good. Yeah, I know. I agree. Oh, you hate when players just give generic ass answers. Is that yeah, what, you're that's what I just said? I said, I want them to reflect on the moment. I, I agree. I, I think if I was an athlete, I'd be very like outspoken or not like, I don't know what I'm saying. That's like, talking I'd like be, LeBron. Yeah. I sound like I'm like getting into politics. I'm not like that. I would be very like, I would have a personality when I talk so, to the media. So he's going to tweet hashtag year 19 <laughs> hashtag year from Akron. <laughs> No, like every I time we talk about his lock, this monster. He's I'd be like, like Derek Carr. I wouldn't be like it was good. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm fucking fired up. Let's go, baby. But also, the media is always just like 
how do they feel? That's all they ask. They go, yeah. What's your well, you know what we would do ask? on all sports First culture? question in sports. You know what we do, Sam? We would ask the hard-hitting questions that people are yeah. afraid to ask. Derek Carr would throw that touchdown. He'd come off the field. I'd say, Derek, I give you this baseball bat. I lock you in a room with a gorilla who's coming out alive. <laughs> Derek, <laughs> you, Derek, he's fucking going to give a fire answer. Derek, at the end of this game, what are we doing? Going out with the boys, fucking your girlfriend, or whatever <laughs> the next all one. Of the above. And he's like, all of the above, let's go, Raiders. <laughs> Dude, he's, I'm fucking one of my boys. Let's go. He'll be like, all right, Derek. Oh my God. <laughs> all right. Man lives in Vegas. I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> hey, you fuck your boys in Vegas? Hey, hey, what of do course. you say, Sam? Hey, you go Sam? to Vegas with the boys, Ayo. you're not making it. Hey, look, next summer, August 1st. You go to Vegas? Let's take a trip to Vegas. You, you just you and Sam. You're coming too. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't whoa. know. Ba- not based on what Sam's saying, man. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> let's 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 reel it in here. I, we reel in. I meant it from the gambling standpoint, not the oh, fucking standpoint. Of course. Standpoint. We're going <laughs> to Vegas. We're we're putting we're doing our Loch Ness monsters in Vegas next year. Like oh there's no God, question. So we're doing monsters. an episode live from Vegas. This episode where we Dude, I'm pets, telling we're you, we're doing we'll... it live from Vegas next year, just like we're doing the fucking Kansas City pod live from the draft next year. We'll do like the bar stool like how they do like a bunch of like skits and how they do like a bunch of like short videos. We'll do like a five minute video from Vegas. We'll be like Hey guys, we're in Vegas here. Here's some Loch Ness monsters we got, and we'll be standing right outside MGM. That's gonna be a good time. That's honestly a great idea for a TikTok. Calling it Loch Ness monsters. I think that's Loch a Ness fire. Monsters. That's a fire thing we should capitalize on because Loch we are... Ness monster episode one. If you don't call this episode of this podcast Loch Ness monster, what are we even doing? Kurt? Place in Loch Ness monsters <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> What do we with hashtag? Lock it in. Lock it <laughs> in. Hashtag lock it lock in. in. Lock, lock it in. Lock it in. Hashtag monsters. lock it in. Hashtag a kid from Akron. That's <laughs> all right. That's it. Thanks, guys, for listening. Uh, goodbye. Wait, we- goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>